Hey again, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about my setup for changing wallpapers and lock screen wallpapers and just locking my screen in general. Um, so to show you just right off the bat, this is what it looks like on my screen. If I pull up D menu, I can just type in wallpaper and this is a custom script that I have installed at semi path. So you can just go ahead and run this and you can select whatever image you want here. You can use your mouse or use uh, Vim key bindings in this program. So you just move around and say, I want to select this uh, leafy one on the top left. I can mark it with M and press Q. And this is going to quit out of the entire uh, script that I have running. And that'll set my background wallpaper, which is pretty basic. It's using FEH to do that. Um, I'll show the code later and kind of run through it. Um, and then here you can see this is my, my lock screen I've bound to a key binding. Uh, this is using i3 lock. So you can go ahead and like type in your password, press enter, and you come back to the home screen. Um, and a very similar script called lock wallpaper, which just changes that. So you can see we had this astronaut one um, when I locked my screen there. So let's go ahead and change that to, let's pick these little like hat boat things. So now if I lock my screen, it's set to that. I have multiple monitors it's spanning all of them. Uh, stretches to fit the screen. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you this program that I'm using. This little window that pops up that shows all these thumbnails is called the Simple X Image Viewer. Right at the top here, you can see it. It's SXIV. Um, this is the GitHub that showcases it. It's available in a lot of different distros. So. For instance, I'm using Arch, so I have it in Pac-Man. Just in the community repo, so you can go ahead and just install it, start using it. Um, it's pretty great without any patching or anything. It does come from the uh, Suckless software people again, um, but I haven't found a need to really patch it. It's pretty great all on its own. Um, so I'll leave this in the, uh, in the description along with my build. Um, so let's go ahead and check out my wallpaper scripts. So this is the basic wallpaper script. We're just using FEH, which is another image viewer, uh, but it also allows for you to set the background of your desktop like this. Um, so that's what this parameter is. Let's go ahead and just man FEH and check out that parameter, BG scale. So you can go ahead and read this, fit the file into the background without repeating it, uh, cut off stuff or using borders, but the asset ratio is not preserved either. Um, so you can go ahead and customize whatever you want to use here, these different uh, dash dash BG, short for background, and then whatever parameter afterward, you can kind of customize how it's going to look. Um, this is just what I prefer to use BG scale because uh, it scales to fit the screen. Um, and if I need to, I can just crop my own images to fit the aspect ratio of my monitor. Um, everything that I'm using is in my dot files. They're all 1920 by 1080. Um, so then after this, you can pass in your particular image file. So right here, what this block does, this first section, I'm just running find, which is just a program that finds files recursively on your computer um, under your current working directory. Um, kind of convoluted, it has a, a huge man page, but basically you pass in the directory you want to search in first, and then you pass in a like glob name. So I'm searching for uh, anything ending with .png under my wallpapers directory and my dot .files, which is just here. And this is just a list of images that I have uploaded on my dot files. You can go download them there, get your own. Uh, you can change this directory or whatever. So it's going to list all of these file names and pass that into the SimpleX image viewer. Uh, really quick, these parameters, you can look at the man page, but basically uh, R searches recursively. So if you pass it um, directories, it's going to recursively search down and find all the images that have been passed to it. Uh, T is thumbnail mode. And then I and O are for input and output. So the, the I flag allows you to pass things into standard input to this. So that's how we're able to just pipe it in. And then the O is going to pipe it to standard output after you select something. Um, and then 
we're using a head just to grab the first result. So if the person happens to pick more than one image with this program, it's just going to pick whichever the first one was that's passed to it. And that's going to ultimately be passed to this FEH command. And that's what causes it to scale. Um, and that gets put in your home directory. Um, so if we scroll up, you can see this, this is what's created FEHPG. Um, and then I believe I just have that set in my X profile and yep, here it is line 17. So this is just going to be running FEH, uh, on that image. So whenever I log into the X session, it's going to pull my wallpaper in the background automatically. Um, so that's really basic. That's how I set up my regular wallpaper. Um, if you want to get more into it, we can look at the lock wallpaper script. Uh, very similar concept, um, just one small change. So I'm using this lock wallpaper file or symbolic link rather in my dot files. And so if we look here, that's right here. And this is sim linked to the wallpaper that I selected. So you saw recently we picked this, this boats image. So if we go back to the lock screen, that's, that's that image. Um, so what the script does is first it ensures that we're removing this cause we're going to be setting it again. Um, when the script is complete and then we're going to be symbolically linking this, this is, uh, creating a symbolic link on the machine. Um, and then essentially you'll be running the same exact, uh, find command piped into simple X image viewer piped into head. Um, and then we're saying where the symbolic link is going to land. So this is symbolically linked to whatever file is being selected with find and then simple X image viewer, and then ultimately head, uh, grabbing the first image that's selected. Um, Yep. So that is about it. You can get all these programs in most of your repos. Usually, um, you know, find is going to come shipped with your repo. Uh, this is going to be built in for getting symbolic links. Um, so the only things you really have to install to have the same setup are going to be FEH, simple X image viewer and I three lock, uh, which can be used in, uh, any distribution, any of that desktop environment or any window manager, you don't have to be using I three. Here I'm using Awesome Window Manager. It's just something that you can install. It's a pretty simple, lightweight, uh, standalone program. Um, so, yep, that's about it. That's all I'm going to cover for today. Let me know if you want to see anything else or have any questions.